Jesus was giving the woman the deal right then. The rich young ruler had the deal right then. Time sensitive. Rich young ruler, you want it or you don't? Don't want it? Not gonna, I'm not going to ask you again. Did he go back and ask him? No. Didn't ask him again. If the woman would have said, no, I don't want it, we wouldn't read about her the rest of the Bible. She would have turned it down, and she had this once-in-a-lifetime deal, and she says no to it. Because what I'm telling you, this message is time-sensitive. See, when you begin to figure out who Jesus is, it will make you drop stuff you thought you had to have and things you thought you couldn't live without. How many of you, when you accepted this living water and you didn't thirst anymore, you could do without a lot of things? You broke a lot of stuff. You got rid of a lot of things. Come on, somebody talk to me a little bit. You left. You stepped over people. You lost protocol because you had this water that was in you. I've tasted from the wells of the world, but you know what? I've always thirsted, but I don't thirst anymore. No, not anymore. I don't. I don't. Now, let me, let me finish. Something interesting to note. Most would, would, may not catch this, but it's interesting that Jesus told his disciples he was going to Samaria, but he didn't. Hey, Debbie, I'm going to go to Modesto, but I'm in Turlock. What are you doing in Turlock? You told me you're going to Modesto. Well, it's just right down straight. It's just it's right. Yeah, but you told me you were. Jesus says, uh, I'm going to Samaria. He's not in Samaria. And now it looks funny. I'm going to read it to you. It looks very kind of questionable because this lady has a reputation Jesus is alone at a well with this lady. Disciples are gone. Um, He doesn't have a bucket or rope to get water from the well. And the disciples come and they find him and look at what they think. John 4. Here it is. I'm reading it. Just then his disciples came back. They were shocked to find him talking to a woman. But none of them had the nerve to ask, what do you want with her? Why are you talking to her? But she accepted this living water. The woman left her water. She left her bank account. She left what was precious to her and her family. How many of you left things when you received this living water in you? And she ran back to Samaria telling everyone, come and see a man who told me everything I ever did. Could he possibly be the Messiah? And in verse 30 says, the people from Samaria came streaming from the village to see him. My point is this, is that Jesus didn't lie. Jesus told the truth. He didn't go to Samaria but he went to Samaria through a Samaritan woman that he touched at a well. See, you've got to understand, he went to the city and he did the Almighty in one of the least likely. How many of you, God chose you as one of the least likely ones to carry a message here? God saved me in another city here, but you know what? God came to Modesto. When I came to Modesto, I brought him with me. Jesus did go to Samaria. But he went through a woman that everybody gave up on, didn't think could change. Wow. Do you think maybe that God would want to choose you as the least likely to maybe go to your family and touch your family? And when when are you going to stop making excuses? Um, You know, it's because of this is why it didn't work out. Um, if I'd have had this break, that would have worked. If this marriage pers- partner would have done this, uh, I think we'd still be married today. So you try it again. You know what? It's real simple to find out, are you really drinking this living water? And that is, are you really satisfied with everything? 